Hi, in this video, we'll show you how to perform the initial setup of Bookly Pro, number one WordPress booking plugin, and walk you through the main settings and Bookly Pro features. Note that this video tutorial includes both features available in the free basic version of Bookly and functionality you'll get when you upgrade the plugin with the Bookly Pro add-on. Bookly makes it possible to accept payments from your customers directly through your website and offers a wide range of options and features to customize your online booking form to suit your website style and corporate branding. On the other hand, Bookly lets you save countless hours of time and money while processing clients' reservations, automate your schedule, integrate with WooCommerce, Google Calendar, and much more. But let's start from the beginning. First, you need to purchase the Bookly Pro add-on from our Code Canyon page and download the archive with the latest Bookly Pro version. Extract Bookly add-on pro.zip file from the downloaded archive. In Plugins, click Add New. Upload Plugin. Select the Bookly add-on pro.zip file and click Install Now. If you do not have the required free basic version of Bookly plugin, it will be automatically downloaded and installed along with the Bookly Pro add-on. After successful installation, go to the Settings in Bookly menu, Purchase Code, and make sure to enter your purchase code in the appropriate field to have access to free updates of the Bookly Pro add-on. To start using Bookly, you need to add at least one service and one staff member. So let's have a look at the Services section. For your convenience, you can organize all services into categories. Click on the Add Category button and enter the title. Now you have your first category. Then click on Add Service, enter its title and click Create Service. Then click Edit. You will see the service card with the different settings. The title field is essential and is mandatory for each service. This title will be displayed in your Bookly calendar and in the customer's view, as well as in other places where the service is mentioned. Here you can choose a color for a service. It is very helpful when dealing with the time slots in your Bookly calendar occupied with this service. You can also decide whether or not the service will be visible to your customers on the front end of your website. Then set the price for the service and select service providers, your staff members who will perform the service. A service has to be assigned to at least one service provider to appear in the service drop-down menu in the booking form. Provider's preference for any setting allows you to define the rule of staff members, auto assignment, when your customers schedule an appointment on your website and don't have a staff member preference. Bookly will assign that service to the employee according to your settings. You can add information in the info field and this message later can be inserted into email notifications or into your booking form with the service underscore info code. In a time tab, set the service duration and padding time. Padding time allows you to add extra time before or after each appointment for your needs. You may find it useful if your employees need additional time to prepare for a service, time to rest after appointments, or time for cleaning the room. Also, you can set here the time slot length for the service which overrides global settings. In the Advanced tab, you will see a Limit Appointments Per Customer setting, which allows you to set restrictions for service bookings per customer in any given period. Now let's look at the Staff Member section. Staff members are your team members who provide services to your clients. The plugin cannot function without at least one staff account created. For better management, you can group staff members into categories. To add a new employee, click on the Add Staff button. You will be able to select a staff member from the registered WordPress users and associate them with their profile. Although it is not required for your employees to be registered as WordPress users, keep in mind that if they are not, they won't have access to their personal calendar and profile in Bookly Admin Panel. To learn more about access to WordPress Admin Panel for staff, follow the link in the description below this video. On a staff member card, you can add personal details such as profile photo, email address, and phone number. The information you add to the info field can be inserted into email notifications and on your booking form with the staff underscore info code. You can set the visibility of each staff member to public or private for your customers. If you choose private, 
that employee won't appear in the list of your staff members at the first step of booking. But you will be able to add an appointment with this staff member from the Bookly back-end calendar. Archived staff members will be hidden from the list of service providers and in Bookly calendar. Limit working hours per day feature allows you to specify limits for the total booking time during the day for the staff member. Click Save, and this staff member will appear in your list. Click Edit. If Bookly is integrated with your Google Calendar, you can synchronize staff members' appointments. To learn more about integrating Bookly with Google Calendar, please follow the link in the description. Make sure to link your employee to the services they are responsible for. Go to the Services tab and select their services. Then set the staff member schedule with the breaks and days off. When you have added at least one service and one staff member, you can publish the booking form on your website. Navigate to the pages or posts in your WordPress sidebar menu. Open the page where you want to add a booking form, or create a new one. In a page edit mode, enter the name of your page and click Add Bookly Booking Form button. You'll be able to hide some fields or blocks if you don't want them to be viewable to your customers. For example, you can set up the booking process to start from the second step. When your customer selects the date and time at once, in this case, you'll need to set default values for category, service and employee, and hide all fields. Then click Insert. The necessary shortcode will be added to your page. Click Publish and take a look at your booking form on the front end of your website. In the Gutenberg editor, you will need to click the plus icon, select Bookly block, and then click on Bookly Booking Form to insert the shortcode into your page. This is what your customers will see. After you set it up, the whole booking process should be really fast and simple. Your customers only need to select a desired service an employee, and to choose the most convenient days and time for them. The plugin will check the employee's availability and will offer specific dates and time slots available for the appointment. After this, they will be asked to fill in personal details, choose a payment method, and it's done. The appointment will be added to your Bookly calendar, and an email or SMS can be sent to confirm the reservation. Now we'll show how you can customize the look of your booking form to match your website's style and corporate branding. Go to the Appearance section in Bookly menu. All the changes you make here will affect the way your booking form will look on the front end of your website. Use the color picker to choose the color. Check the box here to show or hide progress bar. You can make selecting your employee as a required field. Choose if you want to show the service price next to the employee's name and whether to show the service duration next to the service name or not. You can choose the headings of each field, which is underlined here at every step of the booking process. Just click on it to edit and enter your own titles. In a Time tab, you can switch the calendar view, show or hide, blocked time slots, or choose if you want to show each day in one column. Keep in mind that you can personalize each message shown to your customers by using different codes from the pop-up window. For example, if you want to display staff member info in your booking form, Use staff underscore info code here. Details tab provides you with various options. You can add to this step different fields to collect your client contact details. Navigate through each tab to modify your booking form as you prefer. When you've finished with the configuration in this section, check how the booking form looks on the front end. Now let's have a look at the main Bookly settings. In this section, you can customize different settings such as company details, creation of WordPress user accounts for your customers, Google Calendar synchronization, WooCommerce integration, payment options, business hours and holidays, and so on. These settings should be set up before publishing a booking form on your site. Let's quickly go through each of them. In the General tab, you can set the time slot length, which is a time interval used as a step when building all time slots in the system. The setting is global, but you can also set it at the service level. If you want to make a time slot length equal to your service duration, enable this option here. Select the default status for new bookings and the minimum time requirement before booking or canceling your appointments. Canceling won't be available online if there is only that much time left until the appointment. If you enable the option of displaying time slots in client's time zone, the time slots will be converted 
according to the time zone where the customer is located. URL Settings page allows you to set redirect links to the pages that will be shown to your staff members and clients in various cases. In the Calendar tab, you can set up the way your appointment will look in your Bookly calendar. Edit the order of fields by inserting and moving the codes available. For example, if you want to see in the calendar your customer's phone number on the first line, copy that code from the list below and paste it in the edit window. If you don't want to add any information to the appointment card, just delete an unnecessary code from here. Company settings are your company details, which can be included into your reminders when you customize templates for email and SMS notifications. In the Customers tab, you can enable the option of creating a WordPress user account for your customers and select a role that will be assigned to newly created accounts. By logging into WordPress, your customers can view their past and upcoming bookings right on your website and even cancel them. You can select what happens when customers click the Cancel Appointment link. The appointment can be deleted or its status can be changed to Cancel. Also here you can enable address fields which will be requested from your clients at the time of booking. Google Calendar Synchronization will allow you to copy all bookings created in Bookly to your Google Calendar. You should follow the steps in this instruction to set up the synchronization. After you create the project in Google Developers Console, you can enter your client ID, client secret, and copy the redirect URL to the created project. Also here, you decide which information will be transferred to the Google Calendar event by inserting available codes in the appointment section and customer section. The purpose of the WooCommerce integration is to have access to other payment gateways that are not available on Bookly. On this page, you can enable and set up the WooCommerce option by following provided instructions. You'll need to install and activate the WooCommerce plugin first, and then create a product. Bookly and WooCommerce integration works by replacing the WooCommerce product with the Bookly service. It works similarly as the Bookly card option, so when WooCommerce is activated, the Bookly card option will not function. The next tab is for configuring Facebook integration, which enables your customers to authorize on your site with their Facebook credentials. Follow the steps in the instruction to enable this feature. In the Payments tab, you can set up offline and online payment options. Default Bookly Pro version comes with PayPal Express Checkout, but there are more than 10 other online payment gateways like Stripe, PayPal Checkout, Authorize.net, 2 Checkout, available with add-ons that you can choose from and enable for your plugin. Business hours are the default working hours for all of your staff members, but you can also specify an individual schedule for each of your employees in the staff members section. Then set the company holidays for this year and specify the non-working days which repeat every year. And the last tab in this section is purchase code. Please insert here codes that you receive when you purchase bookly items. Now, let's see how you can view and edit your appointments. You can view appointments in the calendar, or as a list in the Appointments tab. When you first open the calendar, you'll see all appointments of your staff together. By clicking on the employee's name, you will see their individual calendars, or you can see the combined calendar for two or more staff members. By selecting them from the drop-down menu here, you can view scheduled bookings in monthly, weekly, and daily modes and open an appointment by clicking on it. In the Appointments section, you can see all the bookings in a list. This list can be sorted and filtered by specific properties like employee's name, customer's name, service, and status of the appointment. You can also add an appointment manually. Click on the new appointment button, fill in the necessary details and click Save. To edit an appointment, click on the Edit button and change the details in the pop-up window. You can also export a spreadsheet of your appointments. All new customers who made a booking through your website are automatically added to the customer list. In this section, you can manage this list, search through the list, view customer details, the date of their last appointment, and payment information. You can also add new customers manually, export and import the list of them. In the email notification section, you can customize all confirmation emails and reminders that are sent to your customers and staff about new bookings and cancellations. 
There are general settings and individual settings for each notification. Set a template for each message using the list of the codes here. Each type of notification can also be sent via text message. For example, if you want to add the information about the service duration to your email notifications, just copy the appropriate code from the list below and paste it into the text edit window. Or you want to give your clients an option to cancel their appointments via cancellation link. Copy the cancel underscore appointment underscore URL code and use it in your message. Payment section will show you the list of all payments made by your customers. The same as with the appointments list. You can sort and filter transactions by payment type, status, service, and so on. If necessary, you can make a manual adjustment to the payment details. Click on the details button and then click manual adjustment. All the changes you've made will be saved and the total price will be recalculated. Dashboard section in the Bookly Pro menu provides you with a clear insight into how effectively your company works. Here you can see the total number of appointments performed by your company during a selected period, the number of customers, and your revenue. You can filter, export, and print these statistics. So now you can see that it is really easy to install and start using Bookly Pro on your WordPress website. You can set and customize everything as you want to let your customers easily book online with you. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you enjoy Bookly Pro, rate us on WordPress and Code Canyon. Your opinion is important to us. Like this video if it was helpful. Feel free to subscribe to our channel and follow the links in the description if you want to know more about Bookly. Have something to share? Let us know in the comment section below. See you soon!